Thinking of my hometown and I love this place Stepping over broken paving stones and feeling safe I've lived on Bath Road and up by Pitville Gates To down the lower end and the villages that frame it Well I was never really one for sports or horse racing Me and many others didn't choose to be creative The reason's inexplicable, it's just the way we're made Now why not settle in the leafy place we're born and raised in? Why have I seen so many packer move away with aims of obtaining their artistic aspirations? Why does it seem that part and parcel of the game is landing in a new location makes your goals legitimate? Pointing fingers is pointless when we all just want to fix it. Pondering what changes here could work when implemented to keep the future makers here and truly reap the benefits. If it's a case of asking them, then this is what they said. It's to simply make some money from selling my creations. To make a show, take it up to Edinburgh and write things. A youth-led festival run by under 30s. Create an open cinema for independent local films. Just to make a living solely from illustration. More of a platform with more chance of progression. Ability to hire kits at affordable pricing. Bringing all art forms together would create a scene. More understanding as to what we need. Make a radio show. Make a web series. Funding, if there's pots of money, then we need to know. Stability and finance. Opportunities to grow. Let people experience what they've not been able to. Run an organisation that supports artists properly. Aimed at a range of ages. Accessibility. Now these are answers to the questions in the place strategy, ambitions, aspirations. How will you achieve them? Don't get me wrong, I don't think that you're the ones to blame, that private businesses shut down or change the way they operate, but you do have the influence to plant the seeds of something great, who knows what could bloom from the right creative space, where access to the funding that's available is displayed, with a skilled practitioner helping facilitate and nurture roses rising from the potholes in the pavement, you know as well as I do that something has to change. To realise the visions and ambitions that we crave, it seems the three splinters of the strategy will play a part in one another's success if it's obtained. A thriving scene would see young people come in here to stay. Maybe native makers would know they're appreciated, provided with a platform to learn and ply their trade. A direct consequence would be they put their pens to page to jump up and perform if presented with a stage. Access to a space could be the offer of their place. Maybe build an opportunity to earn themselves a wage. For some, a job in retail purely means the bills are paid and quality of life includes the art that they create. Outside of conventional parameters could be the case. Performing what they want to is the crux in this equation. Local art, unbound from genre-based restriction, may become contagious amongst those who watch and listen. Well, the very fact I'm writing this to me is an indication that some of you have seen the issues raised and want to change them. It starts with those who sow the seeds, making certain decisions. It's up to them to till the earth for younger generations.